welcome to Draw Through Initiative. Time to paint the paintings of Doom. Wonderful game for people that are 14 years and up for about mm, two to three hours per game, depending on how fast you can kill the other team, for about two to five players. There is a Gamers Couch available for this particular game, if you want to know how it plays, it's in the i-card up above, but more important is finding out together now, my dear, what did you paint? You know, we are <laughs> suckers for, for puns, for <laughs> bad puns particularly, and there was one in this game that uh, really got me, it's, I know it's stupid, but yeah. I still did paint it, so mm -hmm. you can look forward to that. Mm -hmm. there, there's a very similar theme going on. <laughs> Things that are named and are way more funny if you change just one letter or two. It's also a theme in my painting. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and uh, you can giggle with us, hopefully, and see what we paint there. Doom! Yay! No? <laughs> yeah, no. Sure. no, 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 it was perfect. Here we are. Yay. Let's play. <laughs> Which is it? Uh, for this particular game, it's Doom, otherwise, it would be Here We Are. Ah. So, mm -hmm. it's a very mm -hmm. special, okay. special wording for this <laughs> particular game. <laughs> so, you were looking through the cards, and I remember distinctly you were you were giggling when you made your sketch and decided what you wanted to paint might have been because you have a great pun in there it actually made me giggle it's, when it's, i took it's actually, photos it's actually not my pun i can take any credits for it it's, it's like this in the game but still it's funny <laughs> absolutely i mean i'm sorry folks uh if you just uh noticed I have a cheap sense of humor and it's gonna be like this for the next 15 minutes I suppose of this video and uh well maybe embrace it with me <laughs> I was about to say maybe that's the charming thing about this video <laughs> I, I tried to think of it like that but it's, it's sometimes well oh, mm, well no nah. the way more tragic thing is that we had a camera hiccup ah, yes. and uh well, you will find out that the finished painting of Tina is not what uh, you see in her last frame of painting it. There was footage lost. We mourn it. and mm. um, Still looking for it. I bought a new SD card to hopefully never have to deal with that stuff again. And now you don't see all my secret tri tricks I was trying to show you only in this special episode. Well, yeah, then maybe you gotta find a new game to share the folks bit by bit. No, no, it was, it was just <laughs> supposed to be in this one episode I planned for this mm -hmm. years and years mm -hmm, ahead. Mm -hmm. Decades. And, and now it's gone. I, oh, well. I can't recreate it. Well, that's life, I guess. Yeah, well, all the out and something there, I, but yeah, what you do? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Paint a new one. You can repaint it. I mean, the, I got better. I didn't lose all the footage. Just parts of it. And it's it wasn't my you fault. who lost it. it was yeah. the camera. I, that I, I was about to say, it's not your fault. Not at all. Not this time around. No. <laughs> we, d we still have a slight trauma from Fresco, but this time around, it definitely was me. <laughs> it was me. Mm. But well. So, <laughs> I'm trying it. To see, oh, question, why did you uh, use different kinds of pencil colors for um, for sketching? Was there a certain reason, something yes. you wanted to remember a week later when you yes, came back? Yes, uh, because um, when you have so many... Um, Subjects mm -hmm. on your mm -hmm. on your paper. It's sometimes uh, when you work on a week later or something, it's hard to distinguish which part is of which uh, mm -hmm. figure. So I just took different uh, colors of pencils so I could Remember. see that. Yeah, and makes I'm, sense. It makes had sense. quite a lot because I ran into this problem um, really sometimes earlier, mm. and um, yeah, this is quite clearly here. The only thing uh, I 
forgot my nibs and my whole pencil case so I didn't have my fine liners with me or the nibs and so I didn't do the outlining beforehand mm -hmm. No, it was on purpose. <coughs> of course. <coughs> Challenge over. But mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't get to uh, erase the lines beforehand, but I think they vanished quite well in the, yes, definitely. In the colors. Yes. And I was uh, somewhat satisfied, I may, I dare say. Well, <laughs> it's, it's great when you're pleased with your own work. Oh, yeah. You it means there was no disaster. You're already coloring. Yes, I'm painting yeah. some colors of <laughs> the background, the doom and flame uh, background of things that happened. And in the end, uh, it was not intended, but when you look at the picture from a distance, like, I don't know, three feet away or something, um, the, the reverend, or revenant as he's actually called, um, he seems like he's been running away from this. He's like, ah, screaming, <laughs> but actually he's having a party and finding the other uh, human to slay, pretty much. He's having fun. He's not running away, but it, it kind of looks like in the end like he's scared and he's running away. <laughs> it was not intended like I that. mean, it's kind of just a, a skull face. It's hard to distinguish any emotions of that. Yes. But yeah, he yes. might be laughing. He might be scared. We, we don't we know. We don't know. There's he's, everything possible. He's, he's very sensible, sensitive. He has lots of emotions. He's kind of confused. You know, teen Teenagers. Yeah, I just uh, <laughs> you just hit puberty. I was just saying that. <laughs> nice, but he's already uh, a man of the cloth. He's a reverend. Um, he's a young one there, I guess. Have you ever seen the PC game, the 2016 version? I mean, Daniel played it for quite a while, so I'm. I suppose you might have seen it over his shoulder or something. You don't remember. Uh, he started PC playing here last three years. Before that was console playing. So if it wasn't mm. on PlayStation, it didn't nah, happen. Not nah, nah. only PC. Nope. Okay. Nope. But yeah, the artwork on the cards is pretty much um, taken from the game, it feels to me. So that's why I was asking if you... I have no clue. Yeah. I enjoyed the art style in the, in the game already. It was quite... Hmm, not batshit crazy, not comic-y crazy, but realistically crazy, uh -huh. and uh -huh. that's what I enjoyed about it. And I think the um, board game brought that quite well. Well, I haven't. I saw the um, documentary about the dude who made Doom, the first game. He mm -hmm. lives in Ireland now, and there's uh, another YouTube channel, and I don't remember the name. Sorry, folks. Uh, they made a documentary, 45 minutes, about that guy visiting yeah. him and talking about Doom, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they showed some old footage of them making the game and having some artwork throughout the different versions of yeah. Doom. So that was kind of nice to see Yeah, I mean, artwork-wise. PC art game or video game artwork is, is, for me always has been very interesting. The Oftentimes the uh, games themselves don't bring the style really that you have in the artwork so i'm always amazed to see what was the origin of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's why i'm happy it was when a I pixel can... one pixel was one, the origin. one whole pixel mm -hmm. <laughs> was the it? world was made in seven days with seven pixels was it so square? he preaches was it square mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what he preaches there i'm very <laughs> sure reverend <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I, I, I don't know why, but I do yes. sometimes when Daniel says something, I understand something completely different. You remember the space marines, sparse marines kind of thing? Same here. He was saying revenant and I understood reverend and I was giggling they really hard. They sound quite alike. And I mean, the, uh, oh God, Kekko demon? I re misread it uh, to I read an extra A, so he's a cacao demon now. <laughs> you look closely; he's holding a cup of steaming oh, cacao because yes. he's the cacao demon, and I I cannot get rid of that name. I always uh, 
call them Reverend and Kakao Demon and yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry this is Don't be. ruined now for anybody else. Uh, probably <laughs> very soon they will have to rename that monster Kakao Demon or Or whatever. you would just get your very own card in the game. If we... So I'm the monster that mispronounces or misspells <laughs> names? Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm really horrible. A creational a... monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the... Why Why not? <laughs> I mean, there could be worse jobs on, on Earth. Definitely. I can slay somebody on the field without hurting them because yeah. it's just a board game. <laughs> I think that's kind of nice. So what's your job? Well, I'm the special monster in Doom. <laughs> I'd like to have that on my on my uh, business card. Um, yeah, I like maybe, that. Maybe we can prepare something like this for next BGG con, which is for us now, in, in while we past. are recording this, uh, is it, it is in the future for you, it's in the past, but maybe we can prepare something like that. We have those little... Uh, Badges uh, when, that you can pick in the beginning of the con where you mm. can put on whether you're a first time uh, time attender or whatever. Some some really nice stuff there, and there probably will not be a ribbon that says "Special mm. Monster in Doom" or something. Not yet. <laughs> so you're willing to make I that have, ribbon? I have <laughs> okay. some leftover cloth to house it uh, oh, at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At home. Uh, usually, it, house me. usually it works the other way around that I put in English words where mm -hmm. I'm supposed to put German words. But yep, yep. yes. Yep, uh, yep. Well, I have leftover cloth and we can just prepare our own. I mean, you should have cloth, a uh, textile color. No. No? Not anymore? Uh, there's just two colors, purple and yellow, and it's a spray. <sighs> mm-hmm. Well, we for need... cotton, not for nothing else. It's just cotton. Light we cotton. need a uh, um, schablone stencil. Yes, you learned so many German words today. Yeah, us. it's it's just today. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's not a Thursday. We are we are being very brave and kind of <laughs> switching up on the schedule. We are recording on a Tuesday. Well, so, as ooh. we just uh, realized, <laughs> Tuesday is the small first day, so we are yep. fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's all right. Yep. You should be good. <laughs> Still missing a couple of words, but well. And that is Daniel <laughs> on, or was Daniel on the iPad, approving. Uh, because I was, I had trouble with the card of the cacao monster. Uh, sorry, uh, you were <laughs> drinking. I shouldn't. I'm sorry. Um because I was, I, I had difficulties to see the real color of the cacao demon because he was lit with some fire stuff going on. So I called him and said, uh, "You know that monster there? What is its real color?" <sighs> Ten minutes later, I was allowed to hang up because he went to the interwebs and showed me all the pictures. Let me guess, it's a brownish demons. red, because all exactly. the demons are kind of brownish red. Yeah, well. Only kind of different shades. That's the fun I had with my monsters as well. So, what are we coloring this one? Oh, brownish red. Hmm. And the oh, other oh, one oh, is reddish brown. Red That's yeah, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a slight hint of ochre Ooh. between the reddish brown. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's me. Yeah, yeah well, so. that's the theme there. I, uh, what are you gonna do? But <laughs> they, yeah, it was, was kind of funny. The Marines have to stand out. So, yes, but I was like, okay, how am I gonna make this body part stand out with more, a little more brown or a little, little more red? Yeah, and maybe a hint of black. Yeah, but um, well. It, uh, hints of brown next to the other brown. Oh, that's so much contrast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of difficult yes. to have a almost it's monochrome. A yeah, it's almost a monochrome painting. Mm. To then, I mean, you could do that theme sure. quite well in um, what's it called? Uh, uh, charcoal and. Uh, What's the other... Um, Pastel chalk. Yes, thank you very much. Most welcome. But uh, that would work quite well with the setting, I feel. I did something like this for... Uh, what's it? The zombie game with Black Plague? Uh, Zombicide. Zombicide Black Plague, yeah. Black 
plague. Pa, 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 plague. So I'm, I'm going to quit talking now. I'm sorry. It just doesn't she's, work out. She's going to work uh, sign language now. I'm sorry I don't have the camera set up, but it's kind of hilarious. So let me translate. She's absolutely... Hold on. Don't, don't do the mixing up here. Not so fast. No. Sign language, my dear. No. The most important part of sign language is, is the face. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like the, the Rick and Marty episode where uh, Rick did his, made his own again. Uni- no, well, he made no. an own universe uh, with some aliens in them, and he taught them that the middle finger oh, yeah. was an appropriate greeting. So everyone was like, <laughs> okay. I, I found that pretty funny. I like the one better with "I have an idea." The one that oh, you showed me. Yes, yes, yes. That's a German I'll, German comedian who was like, "We should change the world. We can yep. if we all start a thing and people fall in and we all do it, then it's gonna be a thing." And he was like, "Maybe you should raise our middle finger every time we say we have an idea." And if someone shows you the middle finger, you can just answer with "Me too." <laughs> yep. I like that way better than the aliens because it's like, yep, let's change the world. <laughs> but we are coming to an end for our paintings. You will yes. have a very heavy jump now uh-huh, to uh-huh. Tina's finished so painting. Heavy. There it is. There's the paint saw. And uh, <laughs> it made me giggle when I took the photo. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's good. So, so at, re- at least one beside me had well, to giggle. Daniel giggled as well. Oh, that's so good. So two people at Statistics least. are mm-hmm. awesome for now. Good, good, good. yeah. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, the paintings are available on our respective shop sites so take a look and uh, we're gonna see you next week with a new challenge video i'm kind of scared because i haven't painted that one yet it's gonna be awesome bye, bye. <laughs>